So while this is a slightly simplistic example, it is a good example on why you would want to use sharpen with something like crease. We take a look at this shape and we see that it's rather simplistic, but let's say that we wanted to up res this via subdivision. By pressing control one, we see that that does not work out and it actually gets a little bit problematic. So we'll actually see if there's something that could um, be done about this. So if we press control tilde, we see that we are set to basically apply the crease, but we're set to mark at 30 degrees. I can already tell you from looking at this that this does not meet the 30 degrees threshold. And so basically whenever we mark sharp, every edge in between will be marked as sharp. And just to prove that, we'll go ahead and do it. And it looks like it actually made a fool of me and only caught the 30 degree edges and did not catch these edges in between, which is precisely what we want. So with these edges now being marked as crease, we can press control one, jump to subdivision, where you can't see what's exactly happening with the wireframe unless we turn off optimal display. But now we're basically able to press control numpads uh, or control zero to go back to default. We can press control one to go to a more suitable version of looking at this with subdivision. We could press control two and up res it even more. And then of course the next steps from here would be using something like visual geometry to mesh and then clean mesh in order to basically clean the mesh and put us back where we started, but with a higher resolution curve happening here. If we were to undo and go back, we could also maintain the same thing non-destructively by just adding a decimate, which on our side will actually try to remove the geometry that's only on the planar areas.